The current world record in men's pole vault is 6.30 meters. Until of course Duplantis makes this video outdated pretty soon. But some of you might be wondering, well surely if he was using a longer pole he could be jumping higher. So why don't pole vaulters do that? Why don't they simply use longer poles? And it's not like they are not allowed. There is nothing in the rules of pole vaulting that prohibits this. The pole can be of any length, any diameter and of any material. The only requirements are that its surface must be smooth and that it must be rated for at least the athlete's body weight, ensuring it's safe to use and will not break during the vault. So while in theory longer poles could meet all the minimum requirements and their length is not limited by the laws of the sport, it's limited by the laws of physics. You see, pole vaulting is all about the conservation of energy run fast, bend the pole and jump high. A longer pole would create several problems. It would be heavier and harder to carry during the run-up and it would require much more force to bend fully. Also, as much as pole vaulting depends on speed and strength, it also relies on superb technique. Pole vaulters have perfected their technique to get the maximum height from poles of specific length. Increasing that length would throw off their timing, rhythm and mechanics they have mastered, making the jump far less efficient. But what about Duplantis? Is he so much better than his competitors because he's able to handle a slightly longer pole? Well, no. Duplantis typically uses poles around 5.20 meters, about the same length most elite male vaulters use. What makes him stand out is his unique combination of speed and flawless technique. He reaches a takeoff with far greater speed than any of his competitors, giving him more energy to work with. His exceptional technique, including a higher and more controlled grip on the pole, lets him bend it more efficiently and convert that stored energy into record-breaking heights. In the end, it's not so much about the length of the pole, it's about the speed, strength and technique behind it.